For many of us, COVID-19 feels like it's been around forever, lingering on and making its dent in world history. Whether or not our pets were susceptible to COVID wasn't clearly answered. Some experts said they could, others said perhaps not. So, can dogs get COVID? The short answer is yes, dogs can get COVID, but it's unlikely. Dogs who were found to have contracted the virus did so by being in direct contact with an infected human. Similar to us, dogs display a wide range of reactions, from no physical effect to becoming ill, albeit much less severe than when people get a bad case of it. For the most part, the sickest a dog would become was easily treatable at home, bearing no long-term impact or any deaths. Dogs catching COVID-19 is rare. Even now, the number of cases reported of dogs catching COVID is extremely small, particularly when compared to the number of people who've caught the illness. This is great news to all of us dog lovers, as we don't want to see our four-legged friends being ill. But even though it's rare, we should remember that it's still possible, and precautionary measures should be taken seriously as it pertains to our pets. What if my dog might have COVID? If your dog is showing signs of being ill, particularly if someone in the home has been diagnosed with the ailment, contact your vet. Tests are available for pets that are already showing signs of COVID rather than precautionary types of testing. In dogs, the symptoms of COVID-19 can be similar to other types of sicknesses that canines can contract. So just because your dog is ill doesn't mean it has to be COVID. Common sense needs to be applied when dealing with your dog and the vet. In today's climate, the fewer office visits you or your dog need to make, the better. If your dog appears to be ill or isn't behaving normally, keep your eyes on it and try to cancel out other reasons why it may be ill. Reasons such as something it might have eaten, for example. But if you or someone in your home has come down with COVID and the dog starts to show symptoms, it may likely have been infected by that person rather than other normal reasons for it not to be feeling well. Don't be too extreme if your dog has COVID-19. There's no need to overact if your dog winds up positive. We've already talked about how much better the dog handles the ailment physically than we do. Don't start doing things like using disinfectants or other chemicals that could wind up being harmful to the dog, adding insult to injury. Nor should you try giving your dog any form of medications that have not been prescribed by the vet. Tragedy can ensue when we try to medicate a dog or any other animal. Without any expertise in this field, doing so might outright kill your dog at worst or make it more ill at best. It's best to leave all that to the vet. If you have COVID, talk to the vet first. Your vet will need to know the circumstances going on with you or someone you live with relating to having COVID. This should be made known immediately when making an appointment to prevent you from putting the vet's health at risk. Again, simple common sense needs to be used. From there, the vet can formulate a plan to find a way to examine your dog. Can I get COVID from my dog? According to the CDC, as of March the 25th, 2021, there's no evidence that animals play a significant role in spreading SARS-CoV-2 to people. SARS-CoV-2 is the virus that causes COVID-19. They also state that the chances of a dog that has COVID-19 spreading the disease to people are considered low. It's more likely for people to spread it to dogs than for dogs to spread it to people. If you have COVID, take precautions around your dog. Even though there are very few cases of dogs catching COVID-19, there's no reason to roll the dice with your dog. If you have COVID-19, you should stay away from your dog as best you can, ideally separating yourself from all of your pets if possible. Close contact is the number one reason why dogs have been catching COVID rather than other means such as particles floating in the air. If you live alone with your dog and completely isolating yourself isn't doable, keep direct, close contact to a minimum. Be as mindful as possible about how you may be able to prevent contaminating your dog through its food, water, fur or toys. It may be tough and it might make you feel bad keeping your beloved pooch at bay, but it's for the best. Though it won't understand, it's in the dog's best interest. 
Do you think that your dog might have come down with COVID-19 or has it contracted it in the past? If it's been previously diagnosed, what symptoms did your dog display? Leave me a comment down below and tell me about it. Hey, make sure you don't leave here without hitting that like button and subscribing to the channel to get a heads up whenever we release a new video about your favorite four-legged friends. Thanks for watching.